Next, in this video, we have a list of queries that we're gonna run. Uh, so, first let's comment them. Then we will write these queries. Now, we're gonna use two concepts. One is the full path, because as you can see, I'm working in master, and they are uh, they want to get me queries from course name. That will be the student database, I believe. What are the databases here? Uh, it could be somewhere here, exercise, and then from trains. Trains was again somewhere here and from uh, the cricket database right there and from the okay so from student and uh, uh, cricket database so let's find where this student database is it should be under practice too probably or it could be here course for the course okay we found the course here So students could be in practice three. That's for the train practice three. Okay. Let me pause the video or find where exactly is the exercise constraints, customers, contacts. We're good. Google tables course details right there so one is in google the other one cricket is in cricket db so we need to know i mean let's close everything out All right. so now one by one um you may have want to see all the previous videos to really know what's going on here so it's very important that we understand the question the query it's saying write a query to display all customers name and their respective course fee details from the course details table so we know that we have to first locate the course detail tables and course detail table we know it's under google right there so rather than go change it for google to write these queries go to change it to google and then for these queries change it to cricket we're going to write the full path that is select star let me make it bigger select star from there we go and course detail so it should be google the database dot dbo the schema name and then course details dot course details now sql is uh, not case sensitive in terms of writing queries so it will execute and i have the details here and the luckily there is nothing in here let me pause the video and find the actual student uh, table and I found it where I created the whole table it should be this one you can see course details and course detail let's see which one is this we can remove this and replace it with this part just only yeah that will work practice underscore two let's see if I get the details here and I do cool right and is there anything else in course underscore details course underscore details let's see if I have something in there nothing so yeah we're gonna go with course details let me show you one more time so three you want to write these queries in a three form format so you know step by step how you're going just for learning purpose once you get a hold of it then you can write in one go 
it says to display all course names and their respective course fees course names and course fees it want this these two locations from the course details table right now it's showing me everything it's showing me course ID course name and course fee but the demand is to only display two columns it could be made that maybe there are 15 columns and uh, imagine and they just want these two course name and their respective course fee so what we'll do is we'll copy it again the whole it's easier to copy rather than write you replace that star with these two column names course name course fee course name course fee let's write it course name course I'm just showing you that uh, SQL does not uh, care while writing query how you it's it's not case sensitive and you can see one column is removed from the course ID now I have these two so our query is done next write a query to display train details where the train number is one two three four five this one is interesting this will use the where command so first we have to find where the train is and that will be or should be in practice 3 dba train so practice 3 dba train now again we're gonna write select star from practice 3 dot dbo dot train let's see if we get all the column names yep I got everything I can do the update command that I we saw in the last video to you know make it a better looking one but we're just gonna write these queries now it's saying display train details where the train number is one two three four five do we have one two three four five here yes the very first one so select star from where we're gonna pass this value train number train number so we have to know what column name is train underscore number is equal to one two three four five close <clears throat> now this should give us just this was this one record first row let's see if we get that we do if I run it here again and is there a multiple five two nope if there were like multiple records with the train number like uh, the train number is same but it's in it runs in three um, sections for example it goes from north to southeast and then to so, you know southwest so it could be the same train having two or three different sections they will be listed here again the same with Chennai Express uh, 1, Chennai Express 2, Chennai Express 3 it will show me all three records but that's that was the demand let's move on to the next one it's asking write a query to display the student number and student name details whose student name is Kiran so again we're gonna pass where student name Kiran so let's go select if we have it over here yes course details the call right so course detail right there we can to save time we can simply copy it here from here quickly paste it and we can run and we can nope that's the wrong made the mistakes to it is student now student right there so it's in Google is it really there come on let me write it again then select star from Google dot dbo dot student let's see if there's any record in there there is 
good. And oh, it's the one that I created. So DB Ukraine practice three. You can any tables in here? No, no tables here. So train course details, nothing account probably. Should try this one. Because I know I created it somewhere. Uh, there's another one, student detail. That's in Google. Yeah, let's try that. Google.student did not work, so let's replace it with uh, practice to DB account. See if we get any data in here. If not, then we can always revert back. Nothing. Okay. Quickly press Control Z until you have the Okay, now we're gonna go back to um, God, I forgot where it was. Practice three train course detail. This one, <coughs> that's what happened when you're working with too many. There's one student that had nothing in it. Employees department course details. <coughs> Let's go with Google. Now I'm gonna actually, I can either add whose student name is Kiran, I'm gonna make it let update this record so you you will see the update track how it's up gets updated and you can see it's 11 one 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 so we don't we cannot do this we can do it against the birth record because if I pass the value against the student number it will replace Ali with uh, Kiran as well so This is the unique value in this table. <coughs> Update what? Now we have to pass the full. Set as name is equal to Kiran where date of birth is equal to we can copy this date of birth can we copy yeah oh it worked perfectly okay now I should have Kiran in there and then I can actually <coughs> do this one more fact that if I run it again You can see I have Kiran now in there without affecting anybody else. So, again, I need to copy this one and it's asking student number and student name details. Whose name is Kiran? So, again, we're going to take it step by step approach. It's asking select star from Google. We can remove this. We can say where s name is equal to. Kiran. You're gonna give me Kiran whole detail. It's giving me the whole row. But the asked is student number and student name. So we're gonna copy this for 
the sake of uh, saving time we're gonna remove this star with what they are asking is student number that will be SNO comma the other name uh, the other column they want is student name we go with S name that's it now I should only get the 111 and Kiran we I should not get these three columns there you go let's try this one next they want is all player detail details whose location is Delhi so player is in cricket this will be the cricket database so select star from cricket underscore db dot dbo dot what are the tables in there cricket it should show me the whole detail right and yes I have 20 records you can see there <coughs> so let's go and all player details whose location is Delhi it's easier it's just two step one because it's uh, we don't have to select the columns in here we can simply put the command that is where while I go and remove this semicolon there where location is Delhi location is equal to Delhi this should give me not the 20 rec rows but only the records or rows where the location is Delhi by looking at it one two three so I should three record right let's run this oh I got more than that <laughs> there were five let's run this again I really missed that execute oh yeah I missed the first two because I had it like this so that's why yep so the query is successful <clears throat> now the last one write a query to display student name DOB DOJ whose term student number is 109 very interesting one so we can in this for this we can copy it from here right we don't have to write it again if you've been following this uh, video so it's to save time we can run it again execute it <clears throat> we see is there a 109 in here student number is 109 so by virtually saying we see there's one no 109 in here but that's because it's a smaller table imagine if this this, uh, this is a bigger school and it has thousand or one thousand student can we go through all of them no so we have to write a query I'm gonna again copy it <coughs> remove this because there's another where s number is equal to 109 right we know there is no 109 in here it will give us an error it will not the error um, apologies nothing blank but if I were to we know there is 101 it should give me something right 101 so I know my query is right it's running me data I'm gonna go one step further because that's what they wanted if somebody is looking at it they will say okay you did not pass the column name so we are going to go again execute get the columns name <coughs> copy this and the third step will be removing star adding the s name dob and doj from this so again rather than to get all these if, if uh, all these it will get me the name these this on doj it will omit sn number and gender but there will be nothing because there is no student record with the ID of 109 you can see I get but if I if you want to really see you can pass 101 and see the three 
and you can see so this is it for this video it was a very good exercise i will see you in the next one